just a little um, video to show you that I'll be going right through this area. A lot of trees there, but then that tree is staying. And that one's staying. This is probably coming out that one. So basically, if you look, you see all the brushy area that I've already cut. And of course that has to be scooped up and put into piles as wildlife habitat. <clears throat> all these trees right here, these are all coming out, got to be cut down. The tree, like over there, whoops, you see it has a red marker tape, that's staying. So, I might have cut a little wide, but I wanted to make it wide enough to get a nice driveway in, about 30 or so feet. And then you see all the way down, you see the neighbor's house there. All that, all this brush has to be scooped up. And where did I put my chainsaw? <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. Needs fuel anyway. I think I'm, I'm going to walk out here through the field. It's just... Oh, no, I can't. That's right. I left the blade guard over there. Hmm. Getting increasingly difficult to walk through this area. I've already tripped a couple times. Tripped up where I landed on my face. <clears throat> Put that. I should leave it in the car. Well, I sharpened that chainsaw, filed the chip guides down, cuts like a new saw. It's amazing. Really amazing. But I don't know where I put that. Whoa. Oh, I see it. Way down there. So, pretty treacherous walking here. So this, when I rent that skid steer loader with the grapple hook, I'll be able to come in here and grab up all this cut stuff. and put it, make piles off to the side. Some of these trees are got the thorns.
Anyway, now I'm into the woods area where there's very little brush. Mostly somewhat bigger trees. Actually, it will be quicker. This is the most difficult part here because of so much brush. I am about a little more than halfway. I've calculated I need about, it's about 1,200 feet from Holser Road to where we will most likely build. I think this area, I'm going to widen it a little bit more. The brush pile started. Yeah, through here, cut a little more brush, wind it out. All these little stumps have to come out. Primarily because I'm going to put what's called filter fabric down after this it is smoothed out that will go underneath the gravel as a barrier so that the ground which might be clay or whatever it prevents it from migrating with the gravel layer therefore you don't have to keep adding gravel every year because it's disappearing into your clay zone This stuff has to come out here. You can see there's these, this stone wall, it's not much of a stone wall, but a stone wall that I'm basically, I want to run the driveway up to that edge and out 12 feet this way and then on the other side of the stone wall, dig a little drainage ditch, drain water down to the road, to the culvert. This has to be hauled away. Unfortunately, I had to cut that. I should count the rings, see how old that is. So the road will run right, right where I am walking with a ditch right here to drain it, any water to the road where the culvert is. You know, when I go cutting with the chainsaw, I always forget I wear eye protection, I always forget ear protection pretty stupid considering I have hearing issues right now it's not gonna get any better if I running loud chainsaw noise my view is that this driveway is one of the biggest projects Almost akin, well, not quite, but almost akin, close, closely akin to building a house. So here's a drainage ditch here, and it goes to a culvert over there. That has to be dug out a bit, and then another one 
running right down through here. To here. So that can nice if there's a culvert already here. So that's the plan. Again, a pretty warm day with rain. Rain. What's the date? January 10th? Something like that. Right. Over and out. <laughs>